Hey guys, uh, this is Satish Kumar, Handling uh, Technical Support Engineer, AGS. So in this presentation, uh, in the next 30 minutes, we are going to see what are all the various outlook solutions that will be really helpful for uh, designing the smart IoT devices. So nowadays, the IoT devices is one of the booming uh, in future. So if you are making such kind of devices, how SOLIDWORKS looks will really helpful for you to do in a short uh, development cycle time. So this is what the agenda we are uh, going to see today. Um, what are all the common industry challenges while if you are designing the IoT devices and uh, what are all the various solutions that will really overcome those industry challenges and uh, what is the summary and some of our custom stories I'll uh, share with you, right? So the common challenges uh, while if you are designing these kind of IoT devices is you are more and more handling with the plastic parts right so the plastic parts if you are dealing with the plastic parts obviously you need to create a, a mold components or pattern design for that plastic components for an injection molding process so that is really a tough process using uh, any 2d can right so if you are having the 3d that those kind of things will be really uh, helpful to improve uh, your design cycle time and get into the manufacturing so and one more thing those kind of plastics if you are getting into the injection molding process you are not able to sure whether my product is capable of manufacturing or not only after making the prototype there is a chance for blow lines well lines formation and also the shrinkage in uh, the expected output is not uh, achieved so those kind of problems we can able to identify during the design stage and uh, the obviously one of the most common challenges of uh, IoT devices manufacturing is integrating the electrical and mechanical uh, data is very complex process so these can be achieved here so and obviously once if you've done all these things we are going for a marketing content right so for publishing our product with websites and also to give a customer reference about our product we are spending a lot of money to create those kind of things so these are all the common challenges actually in uh, day to day activity of uh, iot device manufacturers and uh, the various solidworks functionality that boost your productivity is you can able to design a smart product with the ease of tools and also you can able to uh, create electronic design such kind of PCB and uh, layout design you can able to done and also once if you done this you can able to Evaluate your product whether your product is having the manufacturing feasibility or not during the design stage and After if you done all these electrical design and mechanical design you can able to collaborate all those things Parallelly and uh, after that you can able to manage all your uh, design data and other documentation related to those uh, products through pdm so once you create set all these things during design stage itself you can able to parallelly make your marketing contents manuals and also the catalogs for your products so this is the common industry process uh, in a company first they'll uh, do the electrical uh, designs such as 2d layouts and something like that and uh, once if they have done this they'll uh, integrate those electrical design with the mechanical uh, department to do the accurate uh, design and documentations so once if they've done their design they'll go for simulation to ensure whether uh, their product is capable of manufacturing or not and once if they've done this they'll send it to the manufacturing after that uh, they'll create a technical documentation right so to overcome all these process in a shortest time SOLIDWORKS is providing a lot of various uh, solutions for that so in the display you can able to see one of the anatomy of uh, IoT device so it contains a lot of plastic components uh, it is dealing with a very precise to tolerance right so it needs to be manufactured in a very precise way so to do this obviously uh, we are uh, going for a smart object creation right so this object creation is able to done in a very smart way inside solidworks because 
you can able to do the surface modeling you can use the surface modeling tools to get into the accurate aesthetic look of your plastic components so it enable you to produce your better design in a very less time so and also if any changes occurs in your design you can able to instantly make all those changes whenever you need and also once if you done this you can able to create a pattern component for these plastic part there is a already a standard library called 3d content central if it is possible you can also able to access those uh, patterns from that itself so let me take you to the uh, software so here uh, what i'm going to do is i'll uh, simply make a small uh, surface model so to deliver uh, how easy surface model inside the solid works yes so for example uh, you where about the uh, inside solid works a lot of tools uh, is a very easy and very handy to use so and also one more thing if you do any mistakes during your design stage the software will really guide you to uh, come out from those design errors so and also if you are having some different profiles in your uh, model you can able to do all those uh, kind of modeling in the same area so for example in here i'm having some of uh, different uh, plans in a different profile to make my surface diff model in a very aesthetic look so and also uh, for example i need one more profile here so you can able to see here uh, how easily i can access the tools how easily i can make uh, my entire modeling in a shortest way so and in between this if i did any anything wrong or if i did any relations uh, missing inside uh, these the software will really guide me to uh, resolve those issues instantly so and also obviously uh, if you are dealing with splines and arcs and curves the, the, that is really a helpful uh, tools while if you are designing the surface model right so in here you can able to see i'm having some of the profile so the surface model will really help me to uh, identify where are all the curvature combs will uh, fly and where are all the curvature combs will easily uh, form those kind of things you can able to identify during your design stage and also you can able to use uh, some guide curves to make your profile in a very aesthetic way so once if you've done all these uh, things instantly you can also able to find out whether uh, my finishing is properly working here or not once if i done manufacturing for these component is there any um, irregular phases will accuse or not those kind of things you can able to identify during your design stage so like this you can able to do a uh, smart object using solidworks with the ease of use tools right so once if you done designing for mechanical cad obviously the electrical cad is also simultaneously working in the other way right so the electronic design is also a very easiest way to create a design using solidworks pcb so you can able to design and layouts in one environment to easily integrate the ecad and mcad in a single stage so once if you done this you can able to make a real component uh, for your supplier links and also you can find out the market demands without uh, jeopardizing your product quality so i'll uh, quickly take you through uh, the electronics design area yes so in the display you can able to see here one of the pcb uh, layout is having in my screen so it contains a lot of libraries inside uh, my software itself so once if you want any information or any components you need inside your library means you can able to directly access those kind of components from this design library okay so if you are having any customized components in your design library you can also able to create once and save it inside this so if you want to make any layout designing or if you want to make any um, 
links in between uh, the PCB designs and everything the tools are very easy and intuitive to use for example need a connection in between uh, this point and uh, this point so the software will really help me uh, to easily and quickly do all these kind of modeling areas so I can able to ensure how my electronics design will happen and how it will be integrated it with the mechanical design right so once if you done this mechanical uh, so this electronics design you can also able to directly switch all those things inside the mechanical designs so through this uh, you can able to find out is there any problem will occurs in between while uh, integrating this electronical card with mechanical card you can ensure during your design stage so as like in the display you can able to see here you can reduce uh, the fit form functions while in the assembly and also you can uh, reduce the time and effort you are spending to integrate the electronical and mechanical designs in a single environment so once if you done these things parallelly obviously your communication errors will obviously reduced and also the electronic electrical and mechanical team will work together to give you a better product so in the display you can able to see here once if you done those electronics design inside pdb you, epcb you can able to integrate all those things inside the mechanical CAD. you can directly collaborate your electrical CAD inside this mechanical CAD. okay so you can also able to ensure whether uh, all of my components is properly fitting or not and also using this you can able to do the mechanical design for example such as outer casing for this pcb board without any uh, errors you can able to exactly do all those kind of things so that will really uh, reduce my design cycle time and also the development cycle time of my entire product so after this actually we we are not able to ensure uh, how my product will really act during my manufacturing so those areas also you can able to ensure once if you done the designing so here actually the design validation for manufacturability can be able to identify once if you complete your designs so with this what is the purpose of uh, doing the manufacturability design validation is you can able to predict and avoid the manufacturing defects during the earlier stage of the part while if you are designing and also if i am going for an injection molding process for a component uh, what i design you can also able to ensure where the shrinkage will occur and also where the well lines will form and how can i able to optimize the cycle time of filling what is the mold fill time for a single component and also in here you can able to incorporate the family mold to uh, reduce the shortest cycle time and give you the more number of productivity in a day so with this you can identify the failures in a critical area due to some air traps necklines or warp edges or some well lines blow lines etc so uh, let me take you through one of the example yes so in the display you can able to see here one of the socket is here so here actually what i'm uh, trying to do is i'm going to provide uh, the family mold process so in this family mold process what are all the challenges uh, i'm following in my day-to-day -day life is i'm not ensure how much time it took to fill and also what is the exact temperature i need to flow from the initial point to fill all this uh, family mold in a proper timing without any formation of errors right so inside soldox plastics it is having a lot of material library it is having a lot of polymers library so you don't want to uh, create all those kind of things again right so it contains a lot of design a lot of uh, polymers with all the physical properties so in the display you can able to see here it contains a uh, different set of plastics database so inside every different uh, plastic material you can able to see the different um, composites that is available here so in 
ABS you can able to see here there are a lot of varieties uh, which contains a different combinations of materials and also which uh, contains different combinations of thermal properties you can able to exactly choose your uh, material with all the physical properties so you can able to see here uh, it contains all the properties like viscosity thermal expansion shear relaxation specific heat thermal conductivity everything you can able to provide and once if you done this you can able to ensure how much amount of filling time it will takes and also you can able to find out is there any shrinkage or warpage or is there any blow lines will form during the flow of plastic so in this actually you can able to identify how my product will react during the injection molding process you can ensure your uh, product validation during your design stage to do the manufacturing without any fails right so it here actually you can able to get the data like how much amount of fill time it takes and what is the inlet temperature i need to provide to reduce the blow lines and everything so in this model it took around 2 seconds to complete uh, this flow for this four components family in a family mode so if i want to reduce this cycle time i can able to optimize either a design or i can able to optimize either the input parameters what i provide for this filling right so in here actually you can able to see what is the temperature i need to uh, give during my input and at the end of the fill how much amount of temperature will remain same so here actually the 239 degree celsius will remain at the end of the filling area so with according to this i can able to optimize my temperature and pressure to reduce the cycle time so with this you can ensure your uh, product will properly fill or not once if you done the designing so this is will be really helpful for me to identify my product validation and uh, what are all the failures occurs during my design stage so you are dealing with lot of different data like either cad data or technical documentation marketing contents and uh, the supplier informations right so to manage all those informations here actually you are having a one stop solution called soldox pdm so you can able to manage all your data under one roof so whenever you need a design you can able to reuse and uh, you can able to easily find out a specific component with a lot of parameters in a single area so it will obviously reduce the time to complete your uh, process like eco ecn and also the approval process inside your organizations and also you can able to ensure you are working in the right revision right version of files or not so in the display right side you can able to see here this is what the uh, workflow of pdm so you can incorporate your company workflow inside pdm so the software will work along with the process what you provide so actually in my company if i am having only uh, three stages like one is initiation and after i done this initiation i'll approve i'll uh, send this for approval to my manager once if it is approved then it will be released so this is what the workflow means i'll obviously create this workflow with all the users and uh, resources right so what are all the members which is under the design team management team and also the quality manufacturing everything so once the process is approved then it comes to the next stage right so in between this each stage you can also able to set the notification system to identify who are all send you the notifications to remind you so once if it done everything if it is released to manufacturing or uh, some other teams you can also able to do this process automatically so once if fit cross the design teams automatically the pdf will push into the manufacturing team or the production team so you can able to incorporate pdf xml excel and a lot of different file formats as a automatic process for your entire workflow 
so you can able to uh, access all your data under a single area so this is actually one stop solution for your design collaboration and accessing the right cat files in the right time so obviously the iot devices it contains a lot of marketing area you, you need to concentrate on a lot of marketing areas right so if you are concentrating on concentrating on these marketing area uh, what is the traditional process we are following is once if we done the product we we'll, uh, took the real time photography we are spending a lot of money to get a good photographs right so in here actually solidworks inside uh, design area you can able to done the model once if you done this you can able to in integrate it with visualize to create a high quality rendered images so this will be really helpful for you to communicate your most complex designs with the ease of use so you can also able to create a virtual reality and 360 degree spins and also the reality images in a faster way so it contains a lot of different textures materials and uh, different shining lighting cameras is available inside the library so you can able to easily access all those kind of things to create your real time renderings so obviously along with each product we are giving some product manuals to give, give to suggest how to handle with this so obviously if you are buying any product like mobile phones washing machine and uh, some home appliances along with the product we are getting some manuals right so in this manual actually it needs to be very interactive and intuitive for the customers to read and understand so if we are spending a lot of money for to create this kind of technical documentation so here you are having a one stop solution for all those things you can able to create assembly documentations and also the training manual service manuals and also the product manuals for your entire uh, product so in the display you can able to see here uh, this is actually one of the product manual we done using solidworks composer so like this you can able to give you a clear cut image about your product and uh, how to assemble how to disassemble this and uh, how to give service for this product and how can i able to handle this product so like this you can able to create a interactive technical content using solidworks so and also not only limited to this you can also able to create brochures and also installation manuals for your product so with this i'll uh, coming to the summary so if you are following all this kind of process you can able to develop your entire 3d model and the validation for your product and the real time renderings for your product in a very shorter time and also the plastic part manufacturers can able to ensure their product manufacturing feasibility during your initial stage and also once if you done electrical cad and mechanical cad in a separate area that takes a much time and also there is a lot of communication barriers in between these two so those kind of things also you can able to eliminate here to prepare a marketing content technical documentation everything the here it is a one stop solution to do all those kind of things in a very interactive and easy to use for creating and also you can able to give better communication with your customers about your products using composer visualize and e drawings without any delay so i'll share some uh, one of our success story of our customer so digisol india actually uh, they are the manufacturers of smart link network systems actually they said that uh, they are facing a challenge in their existing cad system to make streamline their product development and uh, their design process actually after they implement uh, solidworks they said that they increase their design cycle time by 70% and also they reduce the design errors the integration between the electrical and mechanical is also reduced by 95% so using this 
you can able to get some idea about how the solid works will uh, really helpful for making iod devices manufacturing from the design to the end of the product so these are all some of our egs customers we are having in a various vertical industries so if you have any doubts or if you have any clarifications regarding this you can feel free to contact us in the display you can able to see here our website and our contact details so make your better business decisions earlier create better designing thank you